and this proves once and for all that it can be done and you don't even have to be smart to do it. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, which involves having two different RAM modules working together in the same system. This issue dates to the good old days of DDR2 memory kits, where it was the norm to be too poor to buy a dual channel RAM kit so you'd buy a RAM stick now and another RAM stick later. And usually life got in your way so that later came by after 6 months or so, hence why you'd end up running slightly different RAM modules at once. But that was that in the olden days. Exhibit A, a good RAM IRDM Pro module running at 3600MHz with the timings 17, 19, 19, 49. And Exhibit B, a Silicon Power X-Power Zenith running at 32,000MHz with the timings 16, 18, 18, 38. Not only that, but the good RAM module has a capacity of 8GB while the silicon power module has a capacity of 16GB. So these RAM sticks are not only using different memory chips, Hynix for the good RAM and Samsung for the silicon power, but they also have different capacities and different frequencies and different timings to add insult to injury. So this is truly the worst case scenario. Without further ado, here's some heresy. Two RAM modules that do not belong together yet, here we are. So here's what you do, you first boot up into your BIOS, afterwards you enter into the advanced option menu and then head into the DRAM configuration submenu. Here you disable the XMP profile, yes, disable the XMP profile because it won't work anyway, and manually set the frequency to the lowest RAM module, yes, you heard me correctly, if you have two RAM sticks and one of them is running at a lower frequency, then you set both up to run at the lowest frequency of that RAM module. Why? Because you are effectively setting up the timings and frequency of two separate RAM modules which use different memory chips in case you've forgotten already. So the safest way to do this is to set both up to the XMP frequency and timings of the one that is running slower. And don't send me messages about why this is, I don't make the rules, I just work here. But in all seriousness, overclocking RAM kits is already hard enough. Overclocking a separate RAM module while keeping the other one at its XMP settings would be hard, sometimes even impossible. And at this point, why bother anyway, you just want your system to run and that's it. Anyway, moving on, after you set up the frequency, it's time to set up the timings and again look at what your lowest running kit is using as its XMP settings. In my case, it would be 16, 18, 18, 48. Afterwards, you save up your changes into the BIOS and reboot. With Windows 10 fully running, we get to see two things. That both RAM modules are running at the same frequency and timings and that, well, we have the atypical RAM capacity of 24GB, which is the result of having one stick that is 16GB in capacity and the other one at 8GB in capacity. The performance in benchmarks is not the best because we are running mismatch RAM modules, especially in terms of capacity, which is the biggest no-no in computers. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how you can get two different RAM modules and use them together in daily usage. I'm not saying that this is the best thing to do, it's not. You're wasting performance, but if you only have these two and you need a computer running, then you can do it. And sometimes you don't need to have things running at their best. Sometimes, as life is, well, sometimes you just need things to run every single morning and that's it. I hope this video helped you in both understanding how RAM works and also to understand how two RAM kits can work together. If you like this video then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support me in a direct way then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.